again guys um welcome back for virtual learning day number two um i know i already went over with this um with you guys in class um but i know it's been a long time so i wanted to go over this again and just make sure you know the requirements for this so reminders you are working in groups of three we picked these groups before we went into spring break so I know there were a few of you that weren't there. So um, I did ask at least one of you in your group to comment on the post today and just list the three group members that you have and then put in parentheses or just put at the end of it um, what animal you guys are doing your presentation on. Um, if you guys need, obviously you guys are gonna need to contact each other to work on this project. Um, there's a few options you have. Um, you can be emailing each other. You can make comments to each other on Google Classroom. Or um, there's also another really cool option, and it's free right now because of everything that's going on. It's called Zoom. So if you go to Zoom, um, you know, just go to the internet and type in Zoom, uh, you can log in, sign in with your um, school email. And what's really cool is you guys can video chat each other. Um, and it shows all of your screens, and you can basically have like a discussion with each other. Um, so I know us teachers have been doing that to communicate with each other's teachers that teach the same content. Um, and that's really easy to get, obviously, the word across. You can text, you can do whatever you want, um, but make sure you're communicating so you guys can decide who wants to do what sections and who's going to record what. Um, that's kind of what the idea is for this. Okay, so first part, sorry, keep yawning. Um, the first part is to get together with your groups. And I know some of you guys already started this, but it's been a while, so let's go over the requirements. So you should already have your um, your animal, okay? So um, you can have someone work on the background information. So again, how many slides do you need? I'm not looking for a specific number of slides, but mostly to be answering the question. So some people might just do um, one slide, some might have three to four, but just make sure you're being very detailed. So number one, what is the species' natural habitat? Okay, if you put tropical rainforest, that's great, but where is that tropical rainforest? What specific region in the world um, is that animal at? Okay, so include the biome, but and also be specific where that specific biome is. Um, so talk about their biome. Again, give spe specific locations, and then just include some background information. Include like five fun facts. Um, you can talk about mating, um, maybe their diet, anything interesting about them, but include some background information and I give at least five fun facts. Number two, okay, why are they on the endangered or threatened list? Um, give me a little bit of background of how it became this way. What is the cause of the threat? So go into detail there. Why are their numbers so low? What's going on? And then three, be a little bit more specific. So, okay, we know what the threat is. Um, is this caused by humans? So, you know, hunting, um, any type of poaching, uh, nat natural, or you can talk about it being natural disasters. Um, most likely it's going to be humans, which we've, we have learned, but there are some that are caused by natural um, causes. Okay, then you'll move into phase one. You're going to outline a plan of action of how and where you would reestablish the species, including the measures that would need to be taken to eliminate any threats that led to the diminished species numbers in the first place. So we're going to be re relocating our species. How are you going to do that? Um, what is the plan of moving them to a new lo location? Um, where are you going to do that? So what, think of it, obviously needs to be pretty similar biome. Um, where is another biome in the world where they could be safe? Um, where would it be ideal to relocate them? And then again, how are you going to do this? Be specific. If it's a bigger species, you know, are we, what is the goal here? How are we going to get them from one location to the next? Now, I have had groups in the past ask me, can they just keep them in the same location but build conservation around it? That is fine, but make sure this is where people lose some points here. Make sure you're still addressing all this question, these questions. So it says, how are you going to do this? You need to explain how you're going to keep them in the area and what you're planning on to make it safe. And then the where question, um, obviously, just list the area where they're still at. This is where we're going to keep them and explain how. But make sure you answer question two. How many organisms would you use to help reestablish the population? So if you're keeping them in the same location, you might want to put how many currently are in that area. If you're moving them, think about this. Are we going to move all of them? What happens if it doesn't work? Are we going to move a small number? 
you need to come up with a number of what you think would be safe to move them um, to this new area. And you also need to explain, um, so how many in, okay, and how would it be able to support the species? The next part, um, you need to create the following. You need an energy pyramid, food web, and a food chain to show where the species would fit into the ecosystem. Okay, you can't just look up a picture online and get a picture of a food web, chain, internet, okay? Um, you can't just look up tropical rainforest and then move that one on there. You do need to create your own. Now, the pictures can be from the internet, but you need to create your own arrows and create your own pyramid and things like that. So make sure you're taking the time to do that and not just pulling off pictures off the internet. Um, let's see, energy pyramid. If you're moving to a new location for this, um, you're going to obviously look at that ecosystem's um, food chain and food web and see how your organism would fit in there. If you're staying in the same location, you'll use that area's um, ideas. Okay, then we move into phase two. You're going to create a logistical growth curve. Remember that is our S-shaped curve. And you're going to outline a possible timeline. So time would be on the x-axis here. I don't care what year you start with or where you end, um, what's going on there, but essentially it's up to you guys. If you want to start currently now with this year, some people start in years in the past, um, you need to look up realistic numbers of how many of the species are there. And then you guys are going to kind of play with around with it. What do you look up? What is a species carrying capacity? What number would you like to get to? What year would you like to get that at? So you guys are kind of designing it. Now it does need to be electronic again. Don't draw on a piece of paper and put it on there. Make sure you do an electronic graph. Then the next part, you're going to list and describe some limiting factors. Um, be specific which types, so density independent and density dependent. Put that on there. Um, in the ecosystem, that would help maintain a balance of the reintroduced population, controlling it from invasive species. So once we move the species, we don't want it itself to become an invasive species if it doesn't have any natural predators. So if that's the case, um, what are some limiting factors that would be in that area? Um, obviously, we want the numbers to get up first, but if they get out of control, we know that it would still be kept in check. Okay, and then lastly is phase three. Explain how the population will be maintained long term. So this is our long term plan, 20, 50 years, and how any threats will be minimized. So the first part is we need to provide, you need to have at least three concrete ways in which your team plans to ensure this. So Give me three detailed ways of how we're going to keep these numbers strong. And then lastly, how does the reestablishment of the species aid to the biodiversity of the ecosystem? So what long-term implications does a species have on the health of the ecosystem? Include how it affects other species. So you can talk about its diet. What does it eat? What is um, what eats it? What is its role, its niche in the ecosystem? And how does that aid to the biodiversity? So um, a lot of people miss points on that. They either don't answer it or they put like one word. Make sure you're detailed there. And then you can kind of go through the rubric. Um, presentations obviously are going to be a little bit different. Each person will present their part of the, um, the PowerPoint. Okay, so you can like, you don't even have to be in it if you don't want to. You can just show kind of like what I'm doing. I'm not in the picture, but I'm presenting on my paper. Um, so you can do that if you would like to, but each person is going to present. And then you can send it to one person. They can kind of put it all together in um, one full video, okay? Um, I will look up some resources that allow you to do that. So for now, just worry about um, recording your part. And then you can just kind of go. It says you need to use note cards for your presentations. Don't worry about that part since we're not presenting in front of class. Um, so don't worry about the part. And then just kind of go through this. Whatever ones you're doing, make sure you're getting your points. And then we'll talk about group score later when we turn it in. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, I'll be available from two to three for immediate email feedback. Um, you can still email me outside of that time and I'll do my best to answer it. But yeah, we have to uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday to work on this. So um, I'm giving you guys a lot of time to work on your sections to make it look really nice. And that's really all we're doing besides the homework quiz on Friday. And then it will be due Monday at midnight. Okay. Um, I guess I will see you guys later.